Hey guys, it's Mikasan. And you know what, after I decided, like, just forget it. I'm not gonna bother, so... Uh, not normally for the past, like, two episodes here, episodes three and four, I have avoided posting the video of, like, Tangle, or what I'm reacting to in the screen here. So I decided, mm, you know what, Disney is gonna copyright claim this anyway, regardless of what I do, just because the audio can just barely be heard in the background. So, hmm, I'm just back, back to the old ways, people, you're gonna have the video here in the screen and everything. So let's just get on with it, on with it. This is Tangled Cassandra versus Eugene. Huh. Looks like they're finally gonna, dis gonna get over the, your little spat. Anyhow, let's see what kind of moral we have today. Okay, gotta... I got the wind in my hair. Her with it. Ah, you good guy. That you threw out where I swear with the wind in my hair. I know this is supposed to be like before Eugene and Rapunzel gets married get married and in that scene her hair is back to short, which I kinda hope it's like well could it be like a um What happened? Oh. Hey guys, everything okay? I couldn't help but overhear. Uh, not only did you take my halberd without asking, you got your disgusting hair all over it. How? Damn. You? First of all, I did not touch your halberd. Second of all, what is a halberd? Oh, that. oh a halberd. Okay, fine. Yeah. you got me. But check out this shape. Smooth as a baby's. You use that thing to shave your Okay, everyone, oh let's boy, oh boy. Calming, cleansing breath? This was bound to happen. To be fair, I asked several times if I could use that thing. And I said no every time. Which shouldn't matter because we both know I don't listen to you. Guys. Oh, this is just. This is ridiculous. Eugene, a halberd should only be handled by a skilled warrior. Hello, skilled warriors? You forgot. Ah, uh, there goes that base. There goes that base. There, there we go, I knew it. Oh boy. Is that good? Steal him another one. Oh, oh, wait, wait. You can't. This is a one of a kind boss. Ah. Uh, of course you would pronounce it boss. Cassandra. Oh my. Yeah, base boss. Either way. Base, yeah, base boss. The king sees when he sits down for dinner tonight or doesn't see. You just love making me look like an idiot in front of the king, don't you? No. Yep. You do a perfect job of that all on your own. Ow. Wait. Oh, brother. I can't take it anymore, Pascal. I mean, why can't Cass and Eugene just get along? They're both caring, supportive, very considerate people who somehow got us to clean up their mess. Hey, wow, you're right. How did I do that? Stop fighting long enough to spend some quality time together. Oh, boy. This is not gonna end well. But, yeah, two different backgrounds, people. Wow. Let me get Shepard's swords to release some stress. What's this? Who has a goatee these days? Just a second frog, I'm making a point. Chameleon. 
<laughs> a note from Cassandra. If this is another eviction letter, I am going to lose it. She does not have eviction. <laughs> eviction letter, really? Hmm. Well, this ought to be interesting. Yeah. Can you wait till you find out where the key is? Okay. Yes. That's it. That's just a rusty spring. And on your first guess too. Wait, there's more. Another clue. This one is easy. Just follow my lead. Follow my lead. How she locked us in here? This makes no sense. That's because we're not supposed to follow her lead. We're supposed to follow her lead. Her lead? Word, same spelling. Aha! Lead? Pen? Oh. Don't worry, kid. You're not the first person to match wits with this baby and come off looking like a total chump. <sighs> In fact, you might say making people look like chumps is kind of a speciality. Oh, yeah. Patience, brother. Our turn will come. 
I'm the bridles too, I mean. Under the pillow? Screws. Ouch. And. Alright. Hmm. A book? You didn't know the book in a cold? There's another clue. I've been looking for this. This is your final clue, so pick up the pace. You'll find the last treasure in the same spot you find your face. Behind the mirror. I was using that. Another useless item. Put them together. Well done. You've discovered <coughs> junk drawer. Me? You were part of this too. Oh no! Don't stir me into your failures, Stu. I was fine. Oh, brother. X and Y cookies until Rapunzel gave up and let us out. And that's just like you, isn't it? Sit back and let things fall right into your lap. What's that supposed Ouch. to be? Ouch! Oh come on, you know exactly. Gonna. You two scud buckets pipe down. Why don't you mind your own business? Ooh, oh, I think I know him. Business. Is that some kind of comeback, Lady Frank? Lady, <laughs> Lady Frank, oh, let me handle this. <laughs> Look at that. Fancy Boots has got something to say. Name calling? Come on, we're better than that, aren't we? Sure, we could sit here and make fun of each other, tease Cassandra for her chronic joylessness, or <laughs> chronic joylessness, yeah. Looks, or oh God. Your poor dental hygiene, tragic oh. Body odor, and what are clearly woefully misguided life decision-making skills. But do you really Damn. That road? Wow. I guess not. He's good. Oh God, here we go. I can't believe how much I can get done with just a little quiet. Wow, really? Ah, uh, huh? I think you got use combine those things, man. It's kind of obvious. Oh, yes. Let me ask you something. What's your deal? What do you mean? I mean, you know, other than being a venomous cobra woman, who oh, has to follow my girlfriend everywhere. I don't know the first thing about you. Cool. So, okay, here we go. So, as I see it, you always make fun of my past. It's only fair I know something. <coughs> Plus, we have yeah. Time. That is true. Know? I don't know. What are your hopes? Your dreams? Is there a venomous cobra man in your life? Venomous <laughs> cobra man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Besides, I I don't have time for dreams. Don't have time for dreams, honey. You are hanging out with the wrong princess. Yeah, yeah seriously. At a very young age to focus on the here and now. Yeah, wow. Being raised by the captain of the guards must have been a real treat. He's a good man, and he taught me a lot. He showed me how to defend myself, how to take on responsibility. How to earn my keep. Besides, I don't remember my real parents, so wait, 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 what? Nothing to compare them to, anyway. Yeah, I don't remember mine either. Wait, wait, what? I used to imagine they were swashbuckling explorers searching the world for treasure, and once they found it, they come back and get me. It's dumb, I know. How about you? I mean, you ever imagine what your parents were like? <laughs> You know what? I don't really want to discuss this with you, Eugene. Okay, fine. I'll just shut up then. Wow, that's got emotionally heavy. You know, just when I think I start to see a glimmer of a speck of a pinprick of a soul, you flip your eye switch back on. Stop trying <clears throat> to pry into my life. I wasn't prying. Wait a minute. That's it. Pry! We're supposed to build a jack with this stuff and pry the door open. See, this piece faces upwards, and then you add this part to the top. Yes! Brilliant! Yes! Oh, you made it, see? Oh, I am so glad you and Eugene found a way to work out. Ah! Whoa, Freeborg. I am sorry. Oh, I thought uh, you were Cassandra. But not that I'm, I'm not happy to see you, Freeborg. I think you are terrific, by the way. Did you, did you change your hair? No, nothing's different. Go, just, just leave, no, man. I'm blocking that image. Now. Thank you. Ah, God, that was just. <laughs> huh. Don't. Relax, Pascal. I can handle this. Oh, 
Oh boy. I see what all the fuss is about. No, this is fun. And there we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can get run away. <laughs> okay, uh. Pausing it right here, people. Commercial break. Be right back. Oh, okay, it is fun here. I don't like it so far. I mean, the biggest shock, though, was the captain of the guards is not Cassandra's real father. It's just adopted. And Cassandra doesn't even remember her real parents. Where the heck did this drop? A bit like backstory drop. Continuing. Right, Here, let me try. No, 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 that's too far. Leverage, Cassandra. It's all about the leverage. I know what I'm oh. saying. No, oh, here we go. Back to complaining. Cut it out. They gotta break it. Out. The jack was my idea. Oh, my idea. Me, me, me. It's always all about you. Okay, let's make it about you. Oh, wow. Time. Ah, oh. it about you again. That's yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Great, you lost my comb. <laughs> Looks like it's our lucky day. Now they can build a jack. Yes, you should. Give me that look. This absolutely doesn't mean my plan didn't work, Pascal. And it will backfire now. Looks like a job. Oh! They use uh, like uh, brass knuckles. Yep. Hands of yours? Sideburns, long time no sneer. You look no good. sneer. The moisture in the dungeon has done wonders for your leathery skin. Did you lose weight? Prison food, am I right? No, no, I guess not. No, you're dead. The Stabbingtons have escaped. Guess we're gonna need a couple of human shields if we want to get out of here. Ha, <laughs> thank goodness. Wait a minute. Yeah, you're the human shield, you moron. Yeah. I think the sack thing, huh? It's wreaking havoc on my hair. Nice, Eugene. <sighs> Hold it right there. Don't move. Cassandra. Dad. Mm, dad. I oh. Man off if you know what's good for Dad. Oh, darn. Captain. I hear voices. Sounds like my plan worked. Cass. Eugene. How did this happen? Stay back, Princess. Guards, lower your weapons. Yeah. Hey, Blondie, I'm working on a plan. Okay, Eugene, let's hear it. Uh, I, I, I can't see it now because they can still hear us. Yeah, that is true. That is true. He got no plan, but that is true. Come on. You need to get more accurate crossbows. They just ripped it out, didn't they? Wait, but thanks to Cass, I know where the corridor empties. Come on, Pascal. Okay. Oh. Hey, probably not the best idea. Time to get rid of the extra baggage. Say Zion. Sayonara? Actually, I just got a much better idea. Let's snuff out Ryder, but keep the captain's daughter as a bargaining chip. You just sit there. Yeah, like smart girl. This will just take a second. Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh, uh, We've got a little 
Ooh. Guys, guys, hold on. You clearly have no idea what you're talking about. Cassandra is useless. Right there. I'm the princess's boyfriend. I come with a lot more leverage. It ain't about leverage with you, right? Yeah. It's about revenge. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Ouch. Now that's how you use a halberd. Yep. It's all about the leverage. Yep. Okay, you wanna leave now. You want to make it on the table. Not good. Okay, deja vu. Hello? Are you guys down there? Oh never mind. They're okay. Let down your hair. <laughs> um. I am so glad you're both okay. Cassandra, you okay? I am now. Yeah? Eugene, I'm so sorry. I had no idea my game would lead to such a disaster. I really thought you guys would have fun. Uh, look, you've had yeah. but you don't have to apologize. It must be hard with both of us going at each other's throats all the time. So yeah, kind of annoying. I have no idea what you see in her. I'll try to be nice to the dragon lady. I mean, <laughs> dragon lady, huh? There we go. I just gotta walk in there and tell the scariest, most intimidating man in the world that I broke his favorite face. He's gonna kill me. Yeah. It's not gonna kill yeah. you. Hey, do you remember last month when the royal tailor accidentally tore his robe? My dad didn't kill him. Of course, he's got like a million of those robes, and only one of those vases exists in the. Not helping. Come to think of it, I remember seeing the tailor locked in a stockade. Blondie, not helping. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, not helping at all. All right. I just got a face. The music. The music? Oh, wait, what? Oh, ho, 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 nice. It looks good, too. I mean, good repair job. Hey, you got a sec? I guess. I just wanted to say that I really appreciate what you did. I figured if you got kicked out of the castle, Rapunzel would be all mopey and... Hope. Yeah. So, does this mean I can borrow your halberd? No. No halberd. Okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Good. Yes. By the way, where is my halberd? I don't know. Well, you had it last. I did not. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, here we go. I can't believe you're gonna lie to my face. I can't even look at your face. It's still on the. Oh. <laughs> Miss me. You broke it this time. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to figure out the moral here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's, okay, let's see. What, what's the moral here? I'm trying to figure it out here. I it's going to be again. Uh, well, the moral is... Okay, the point of this episode was to get uh, Cassandra and Eugene to be friends. Wasn't gonna happen, obviously, because we've seen this scenario here so many times. And this is Disney movies and Disney, and Disney shows, but in pretty much every cartoon in the spectrum, including Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and everything. Like, <clears throat> okay, um, they can argue. Sometimes, like, arguing is sort of their thing, really, but when it comes down to it, when they are in a pinch, they can work together. I don't know, I mean... <laughs> these morals are becoming very hard to find nowadays. I mean, first, to challenge the brave, I... What was the moral behind that? It's, I 
just and this Cassandra and Eugene here versus Eugene. The moral is cliche, but still a good moral. It's like, yeah, you can have people who are constantly fighting, friends who always fight. They're always going to be the friends who always fight and argue. I mean, I got a few, I got some friends like that myself here. Here with me. My friend my friend here who you sometimes hear in my reaction videos and such. We, or in my unboxings. We banter all the time. We run each other. We like pick on each other all the time. We fight, stuff like that. But, well, not really fight, but... Hey, we're still friends. I mean, we still get along. No problem. Here, it's sort of, the, sort of that. I mean, as long as it, as long as you get along in the end, or when it matters, hmm, it's okay. And yeah, I like that image of Cassandra repairing the va the vase, the vase, what, however you like to say it. Who cares? Potato, potato, potato. It was a nice little gesture here. It shows that, yeah, no, I mean, without you. Yeah, her pond would be all mopey and stuff like that, and I probably have no one to pick on and let go of my stress at. <laughs> uh, well, that I think that's it for the moral. I mean, it was it was a classic moral. I love how it was basically like these two, these kids are acting like a bunch of bickering children, so lock them in the room and let them sort sort out their differences. I mean, hell, I saw that in Stargate SG-1, for crying out loud, when uh, O'Neill became general and was in command of Stargate Command. Hmm. So, that, I mean, it worked, it worked in that one, surprisingly. <laughs> well, um, so, yeah. Nice little episode here. It does feel like they are struggling. Getting morals here, I mean, the, the like I said, Chandler the Brave, I did not get the moral here. This one here is a cliche moral, but a good one nonetheless. I'm hoping the next episode will be a much more interesting moral. Uh, well, people, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm sure many of you are happy now that the episode are back being shown in this video. Like and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, oh, I won't forget to say, this episode can be watched in the description box down below to the, to the watchdisneychannel.com, you know, official source and everything. Support the official release. Eh. Until next time, this is Mekasan, logging out.